Difficult start. Um, first 15 minutes, uh, we had problems. Um, City played much too often through our midfield. Um, we all know City has always different ideas for different games and you always have to get used to it during the game. You never know exactly what will happen. Um, and obviously the positioning of De Bruyne and Gündogan um, in combination with Palmer and Mares um, gave us some problems uh, on top of the problems <laughs> you um, have. Erling Haaland in the center, which you should not forget in, in all these movements. And um, so in, that mo in this situation, we were not compact enough. That's why they could pass the ball through. That costs you um, confidence, conviction, stuff like this. But we found a way back in the game. We were 1-0 down, scored our goal, wonderful goal. Um, had good football moments before the goal already. We, 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 we caused them problems as well. Um, so 1-1 one, one result, OK, half time. Second half starts and I don't know how many minutes were played. Um, and they scored the, 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 the second goal. By the way, the, the, the first chance of Haaland, which the, the start of the game, first half, was offside, wasn't it? You don't know? Yes, it was. How can I tell you? So, and that, that gives the game a direction. Eh? It's like the first season, and boom, oh my God. So they are through. It was offside, but nobody whistled, no flag up, and all the whistle. So it gives you a bad feeling. So just to say that. But then the second half, the goal, um, they scored that. Should have to be, should have defended all three goals much better. This one, not in the, in the last moment, because when Ria takes the ball with the first touch inside, <laughs> just world class. Um, and I respect that a lot. Um, but before, on the side, we should, be in better positions on the other side. Um, third goal, especially, we are not switched on when they when they start their their, their little routine. Cross is coming in. We are not in the right position. We not enough players watch the ball early. So these kind of things. So there's obviously still a lot of space for improvement. But then we had our moments. We could have scored more goals. They had more chances. Spectacular game, I would say, for that early stage again. Um, and lot high intensity so it's a lot to take from um yeah the result obviously not uh, and the coach you consider not but in between yes we we played yeah so a couple of times probably the best team in the world yeah unbelievable how they are and uh, what they do and um so it's normal that you struggle in moments so i accept that um that's why um especially the big difficulties i will not count too much now because we will not play every three days against Man City. Um, but we can do better and we will work on that and then um, let's make sure that we are ready for Aston Villa. And just, just one more if I may. Um, is there an argument to suggest then at this stage of the competition that VAR should be introduced? <laughs> I mean, I hate to bring it back to VAR, but obviously those kind of calls that you're talking about there can be... I, well, we, yeah. yeah, I would say if we have VAR, the refs are used to VAR and all of a sudden you tell them, oh, no, today not. They tell everybody, no, no. It's like it looked like in a couple of situations that, that, that they were waiting for or thinking that there was still VR, <laughs> but there's nothing because offside decisions. There were a couple of where uh, everybody in the stadium was convinced it was offside. I don't know if it was in the end or not, but um, we ne will never know probably because we cannot watch it back. So that's, yeah, I would say it makes sense. If you play a competition now and everybody, everywhere as we are, why you should not. Especially in, 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 a, in a game like this, I understand in early rounds when it's maybe not possible um, on all levels, but then now it's City against Liverpool. Uh, I think all the technical um, things are here. So why shouldn't we use it? Yeah. Yeah, good. You, you, I realised you came out on the wrong side of it. But you yeah. said it's, it was a spectacular game and I think most people watching on TV would have enjoyed the game. Are you surprised that both sides could get up to that level or produce something like that so soon that the players have come back? I didn't really think about it. I know that it, for us it's always like this. If you, we, we beat obviously City from time to time, but only when we are really on top of our game, then it's possible. Because we, in, in the game it's always like this. It, it's, it's like... We push each other always in the game to the next to the next level. Um, there were spells, City better, us better, we better, and stuff like this. So um, I didn't really think about how good it can be, but I saw the game as well. So yeah, it was really good. Um, and from our point of view, we had to change late. Bobby only in the last session 
felt something. Um, so he was out. Um, then we had other problems with. Oh, we planned Oxley to start, and obviously he's in a good moment. And then he got, got ill two days ago, but he, this morning he was fine. Um, so there are um, different struggles you always have. And against City, you better should have a perfectly oiled machine available because they just, how I said, um, they always do little things differently, which have a big impact, and you have to adapt to that quickly. And we needed tonight 15 minutes, which, which was nearly too long, but we found a way back in the game, and then. Um, that's good, but in this game, for your own, in your own possession spells, you need 100% confidence and conviction. And these first 50 minutes cost you. That's a, you need more time and stuff. You feel in a rush where you are not. I think we had chances, um, especially using Darwin in behind. There were there were massive spaces for us as well. So, um, yeah, good game. Was a surprise. I, I didn't think about it too much. Do you, do you think um, Trent and Virgil will be available for, bo for Boxing Day? Was, Mil yeah, was I, Milner I, hamstring? Sorry? Was Milner's injury hamstring? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he felt something in the hamstring. Uh, we still hope it's not an injury, uh, but we will see. He felt something, but after 30 years in the business, he probably he said, I don't think it's a lot. So we will see. Um, yeah, actually, we, should, we thought Trent is available, but then he got ill. Um, and so that's what we have to wait for. So virtual trained today, yesterday, what is today? Thursday? Yeah, yeah so uh, yesterday and today, completely normal. And um, should be ready for Monday. Um, but we have to see who, who gets the virus until then. That's it? Yep. Thank you very Thank much. You. See you. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that show. Did you know Red Men Plus subscribers get access to their exclusive Facebook group? Yes, there is a Red Men Plus subscribers group on Facebook just for them. So if you want to get involved with like-minded Reds and avoid the idiots on Twitter and normal Facebook and all that, yeah, sign up to Red Men Plus, enter your username as you sign up to the Facebook group, and you'll get access to... Ta-da!